Hello everyone, I welcome you all for SVK tutorials. So whatever the videos I am doing here, this is only meant for you. So to do more videos uh, from my side, I need a uh, motivation from your side. So to get a motivation from your side, just I need you people to subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends and like this video. So all these things will be boosting me to do more videos uh, in future. Coming to today's session, so in this session I am discussing uh, the model question paper uh, for computer science stream. In that I will be telling how to score minimum 70 marks uh, in this subject. So it is very easy to score uh, minimum uh, 70 marks in this subject. So moving on to module 1. So in module 1 you can have an option of studying. One is uh, uh, studying a tautology contradiction. So that will be definitely one problem will be there on tautology or contradiction. So next you can study the loss of logic using loss of logic you, you need to prove the uh, equivalence uh, equality uh, here. So definitely these two questions will be there definitely in your paper or else you can go with uh, inference rule of inference and quantifiers rule of inference and quantifiers definitely these two will be there. If you study these four topics definitely you can score minimum of 13 to 14 marks in this module. So if you study out of these four topics, if you study these four topics, definitely you can score 13 to 14 marks. So moving to module 2, it is a relations, functions, graph theory. So under composition, one problem will be there, definitely one uh, problem will be from composition. So just I will uh, tell you the topic, whatever the topics you, if you study, you can, what, how much you can score, I will tell you. One is on composition, one is on digraph and matrix relation, digraph and matrix relation and uh, isomorphism uh, when you come to a graph theory part, isomorphism, assay diagram, assay diagram, so invertible function. If you study these, these topics, if you study these topics, did you understood? One is composition, functions under functions, uh, you can study composition function then matrix relation, then a uh, digraph, then go with uh, poset, that is asset diagram, construction of asset diagram, then go with invertible function, then finally go with isomorphism. If you study these topics, definitely you can score 14 marks here also. In this module also, you can score minimum 14 marks if you study these four topics. So similarly, if you come to module 3, in module 3, definitely, you, my dear students, you can score 20 out of 20 in the module 3. So, first, start with the uh, uh, least square method, that is a uh, curve fitting. So, go with uh, studying uh, the how to fit up a uh, st uh, straight line or parabola or exponential curve. So, these three. So, if you study under curve fitting, uh, straight line, parabola and power curves. So, that is one part. Then uh, finding the correlation coefficient, uh, finding the correlation coefficient and regression lines. So, if you study these three topics, definitely you can score from this module 20 marks. You can score 20 marks. In this module only, you can score out of out marks, my dear students. So, keep in your mind, you can study so lines of regression, uh, curve fitting, all the three uh, methods, all the three methods, go with all the three methods. So, and Correlation, regression, correlation, regression, correlation, coefficient. So all these uh, things, if you study, it is enough in this from this module. So then, uh, apart from this, so I have also uploaded uh, videos uh, in, uh, already. You can go through videos. So and also you can wait for coming videos. I will be solving the uh, full model question paper uh, module wise. So you can wait for the updates. When you come to module four. If you come to module 4, from module 4 you can uh, go with uh, using a uh, probability function, you can find the value of k. So here, either here you can have, here also you can have. So uh, by using probability density function, one problem will be there, compulsory one problem will be there. So you can study, so that part by, uh, that is uh, showing that whether it is a PDF or not, or finding mean, variance, all those things, have basic concepts, uh, finding mean, variance, and or using PDF, we can find out probability of x lying between 1 and 2 like that. 
so definitely one question will be there from that part then apart from that you can study binomial distribution or uh, uh, poisson's distribution so along with that there is one more distribution called uh, normal distribution that is up to your choice you can study any two methods if you study any two methods definitely along with this basic concept along with this basic concept that is finding mean variance uh, and uh, like this pdf then then uh, using a binomial uh, distribution poisson distribution normal distribution apart from these three normal binomial and poisson's if you study any two distribution definitely you can score 20 out of 20 but you don't want if you don't want 20 out of 20 minimum you can score 14 marks from this one so when you move on to module 5 I feel that you can make sure that uh, if you study very, very well in module 5, in this module also you can score 20 out of 20. It is a very simple module, uh, module 5. So one is a joint probability, that is a joint, if you study joint probability, in that joint probability distribution, they will ask expectation of x, expectation of x, y, expectation of x, y, uh, co covariance of x, y, correlation of x, y. So all these things they will be asking one question from this module. Then hypothesis, testing of hypothesis, then chi-square. So these three topics, that's all. If you study these three topics is enough. So if you study these three topics, definitely you can score 20 out of 20. Or you can also fix minimum of 14 marks from this module. So now if you calculate from first module, you are going to score 14 marks. From second module also, you are going to score 14 marks. From third module, I am expecting 20 marks in fourth module, 14 marks in fifth module, 14 marks. Totally, how much marks you can calculate here? So, here 4 plus 4, 8. So, totally 16. Carry 1 year. So, adding this, you are going to get 76 marks. So, my dear students, you can score 76 marks in this question paper. My dear students, you can score 76 marks from this model question paper. Definitely, you can score. More than 60 marks, more than 60 marks, up to 75 marks you can score. So, this is the way of uh, approaching the question paper and uh, the way of uh, selecting the question is very important while studying. So, I think you all like this video. Uh, so, to get motivation from your side, I need just, I need from your side is to subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this video with your friends. And like, uh, finally, don't forget to press like button. I thank you all for watching this video.